Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about the short squeeze strategies that some traders are using to go long uh, specific stocks. So for sh le let me first give you some definition of short squeeze which I get from invest uh, Investopedia and once we have covered the definition I just try to show you how you can use Python programming language and automate to get uh, that specific information out from Finvit's website for example or any other website as equivalent. Uh, okay let's start with the definition. So what is a short squeeze? A short squeeze is a situation in which a heavily shorted stock or commodity moves sharply higher forcing short sellers to close out their short positions and adding to the upward pressure on the stock. So short sellers are being squeezed out of their short positions, usually at a loss. Short squeezes are generally triggered by a positive development that suggests that stock may be embarking on a turnaround, right? And to th and so the impact of a short squeeze is dependent on a short ratio, right? The higher the short ratio, the bigger the impact of a short squeeze. So what is a short ratio? So a short ratio is essentially telling you how many days would it take to cover all the short positions. And in order to calculate it, you basically have to know what are my short stocks and what is the relative volume. That information is easily available or available for, from website like finfits.com and you can just type here um, let's type here your ticker let's say we look at snap right and you can see for example here the statistics of the company let's remove the advertisement and you can see the statistics of the company you can see the shares outstanding 1.45 billion then short shares floats these are the stocks available to trade 835.72 million of of that total shares float sh uh, there are 13.84 percent of the stocks are shorted and short ratio is therefore 4.78 uh, so you have to take the sh uh, shares float multiplied by sh uh, short float and you would get the total stocks which are shorted and then you divide by the relative volume and you get the days which will require based on the volume to get out of a short position. So let's jump back to the um, Jupyter Notebook. I'm using here the Google Colab essentially is the Jupyter Notebook which you can write Python code and also write the documentation that helps you later to come back and see what you have done. So the idea is how can I get the data from Finvids, right? So we can use Pandas package that helps us also to download HTML pages, right? Maybe you haven't known, like you, maybe you don't know. If you go here on the website, right? You copy that link here for the snap you create a URL that contains now for the ticker so and then to download the website the one from the from this URL the the only thing you have to do is pd read HTML method HTML and you provide the URL right so and afterwards you you want to see what you have downloaded pd so import pandas SPD and then you, you can use that. Let's run that. It takes some time. So essentially, if the website has some ta tabular format here, like uh, if you inspect the website, you kind of can see there are some tables. So essentially pandas we'll look at the tables and take the tables into the data frame so so there are many tables so we are only interested in that particular table here so let's find it so you can find it by looking through different index but in this case I have looked already so it's at index 6 you get 
that particular table out right so now you have essentially download the statistics of from Finvits for that ticker right and now you have the information here right so so the idea is imagine you have now like an Excel file or a CSV file that contains different tickers right and you would like to compare the short ratio between different tickers and sort them based on the highest number to the lowest number so how would you do it right and in order to do it you can automate it simply with um, with Python code so I have pre-written some function that we can be way quicker to do this analysis so firstly this function downloads from the finvits so you provide a ticker that then essentially what we done here we download it we return the sixth table which uh, we have identified is the table we are interested in then we process the raw data we want to have it uh, into we want that 0, 1, 2, 3 basically that all is coming under two um, using only two columns one is for the naming and the other is for the values that's what I'm doing here and then um, I'm interested in the short ratio so I give you an example let's take that function right let's take that function and re um, request the short ratio for um, snap right we wait and you get 3.78 3.78 you can see 3.78 wonderful so now as I have uploaded the CSV file to to the Google Colab uh, I have the data here so now I want to load the data and only take the tickers from the CSV file right so in order to do this so you can do the following thing first of all you load the data DF tickers you load the data into the data frame so D, uh, PD read CSV and it is ticker dot CSV right let's check again tickers dot CSV yeah, perfect and also print the head out so the head means print the first rows out mm. so that prints all our everything out I forgot to write the head let's do it again so so we don't have to print everything okay so now we have so the data frame with date ticker and sentiment we are interested only in the tickers okay so also here I have done some little job that essentially takes the ticker and creates a new so this is ticker doesn't exist because it is the F ticker So now we have all the unit tickers from the CSV file. And so the next idea is to loop through every ticker in that list and to get the short ratio values out and then sort it. Okay? So so let's write the code for it. So we want to store the values into a dictionary. So we loop for the tickers or for ticker ticker and tickers and now we want also let's print it also out um, print the ticker and also store the values into the dictionary short ratios we take the ticker and we call that function which does the job for us right and we store it just replace with ticker instead of hardcore the ticker so also we want to have some try catch mechanism in in case they this ticker is not available so you you don't want that the program is failing all I want to know which ticker wasn't available and later to look up what's the problem why this ticker hasn't been available uh, ticker 
and uh, not available. Let's run that. So now you see what it does, it goes through every ticker in that list and tries to fetch the data of the short ratio in stores into the short ratio dictionary. Okay, take some time. Alright, I'm pausing here and then I restart again. So now you can see it has completed to download all the short ratios for all the tickers. So for a couple tickers it didn't go through for whatever reason, which we have to investigate later to see does Finvids have the tickers or what is wrong with the tickers. Maybe the ticker naming is different on Finvids than where I got them from. Okay, But now <coughs> you can take the dictionary here and you can print out the values. So you can see, so now we have different short ratio values. So next point is, let's put them into um, a data frame and sort by the values. So in order to do this, you create a new data frame and you put the short ratios. So short ratios and the index will be short ratios, short ratio. Okay, so the output will be like that, but I don't. I want to have it transpose. So transpose means it looks like that. And now also let's sort the values, sort values, and we sort the values by short ratio. Ratio. Uh, uh, does not have. Okay, let's it in couple steps. Store it to data and then and then data. Now you can say data sort values sort values by by short ratio. Right and then uh, let's print out the data. Okay so now you have all the short ratios uh, you want obviously you want to ascending you want to say true now you want to say ascending should be false so from bigger to smaller and then you have like all the tickers here uh, sorted by the highest number so if that is your ticker list which you are looking every day to see okay that are penny stocks for example they have more higher likelihood to uh, squeeze or uh, that's your particular strategy you like to exploit these are the catalysts that could help obviously the stock to rally and yeah that's a small analysis that can help you in your trading okay if you have any question leave a comment below and I'm looking forward to answer your questions. Okay, thank you very much.